Hello you guys, long time no see, and today we're gonna have the Tiny Glade review. Where this is the relaxing castle binding sandbox game. And it is known that Italy is dot with the architectural wonders and among these are certainly the numerous castles that over the centuries have been built by local lords as strongholds for their territory and yes, also an tangible manifestation of their wealth. And so I want to throw down the gauntlet. My dream is to see masterpieces such as Rocca Calastico and Castello del Valentino reproduced by future community of Tiny Glade players. Well, yes, because in game of Town's Life, you can build castles of all kinds. With completely intuitive construction mechanics based on the click and drag and drop, Tiny Glade manages to offer its magic to players with all levels of experience in genre and of all ages. Small bridges, walls, ruins, ponds, and flower gardens can arise effortlessly. Also, thanks to an extremely clear and linear interface, capable of accompanying user in the creative effort and offering a very pleasant experience even for the neophytes. The lack of real objectives could disorient the most hardcore users. But we are faced with a game that wants to relax and provide maximum freedom to those who stand in front of the screen without time limits or challenges to necessarily complete. Pound Slide immediately introduces us the action with a short message that invites us to experiment with the various options available to us. On the screen, we see a clearing surrounded by a verdant woodland environment. Birds are chirping and a few sheep are wandering around grazing on the grass. My mischievous nature is evident in the first gesture of the game, building a low wall as a fence for the woolly little animals. Only that the sheep is in response take out umbrellas, open them and take flight to gracefully escape my bad intentions. This little story perfectly shows you that care that develops have infused their creature with the first glaze might seem too simple. No missions, no timers, just a linear interface that allows us to build walls, towers, buttresses, and then make ponds, gardens, and water lilies appear out of nowhere. Just hold down the left mouse button to raise or lower the walls and towers, and at any time it is possible to change the color of the structure or erase them with a stroke of the sponge. In Tiny Glade, everything is learned very, very quickly. But this is the only time and the practice that architectural masterpiece worthy one of names are created. It is clear that the primarily aesthetics response that Pounce Light wants to generate in players is that one of the sense expressive freedom and relaxation that can be felt in front of sandbox games of this type. Without pressing objectives or rankings of any kind, this might turn off a segment of the public. Well, this is not audience that Tiny Glade is aimed at. It must also be said that developers have prepared daily inspirations to unleash the creativity of fans. You can be invited, for example, to create a vampire castle without a nighttime setting with ruins placed on a hill. It is certainly a great way to get the instincts of tiny glades, virtual castle builders going, and there are certainly plenty of ideas to be had given the number of options available to players to change not only the elements, of the buildings, but also the surroundings of the environment. For example, you can choose the time of the day, or night, or day, with dramatically different effects on the overall lighting and atmosphere, or alter the terrain, raising and lowering its levels in various places. One particularly notable aspect is the way in which structures and objects automatically change based on how they are placed. Walls are curved organically, plants integrate with the environment, and the sunset lights kiss ponds and gardens in a hasting way, making each construction unique and dynamic, giving life to the player's creations. A tip, try sending the season to winter and let me know what happens to your ponds. Which really, it is amazing how Pond Slide has managed to create a recognizable and character style, while maintaining a minimal aesthetic capable of transmitting a strong sense of calm and peace this is true both when looking at the dioramas created on their static state and while playing, thanks to the softness of animations and the attention to detail of the environment and buildings, 
but there are technical uncertainties of frame rate hiccups um, that in experiences of the type would be capable of tearing the player away from impression as uh, serene and idyllic word. Equally good work has been done on the audio department, which is also highly dynamic depending on the season selected and the time on the day which you decide to build the castle. The soundtrack is also minimalist, full of ambient sounds such as rustling of the wind, the singing of the birds and the flowing of the water, all perfectly integrated into the visual context. The tiny great developers have made some very clear choices. In creating a totally healthy and relaxing experience, they have decided to completely omit clear challenge or objectives which to guide the player's experience. This could alienate some of the more hardcore users, perhaps, and cause it to a very specific question of what a video game is or should be. For everyone else, Tiny Glade is an opportunity for experimentation and meditation. A small glass sphere when the time slows down and every construction decision is guided by pure creative pleasure. It is time gaming equivalent of a walk by a sea at the sunset, without a haste, without a specific goal, just enjoying the pleasure of the moment. The daily suggestions are certainly ideal for those who like to have a minimum guidance in their work, while the peaceful atmosphere and attention to the detail make the difference, making Tiny Glade ideal even just for short gaming sessions after a long day of work, switch off your mind and create without the limits. And what do I didn't like about game? It's the lack of real goals or challenges that may discord some. What about the advantages of the game? So aesthetically relaxing and pleasant from every point of view. This is the intuitive and fluid building mechanics and totally creative freedom without any kind of pressure. So those are three aspects why did I like the game that much. Yo guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. You have a wonderful day. Bye bye.